As a courtesy, I will let you know there's there's no solution in this video other than reformatting from scratch your iMac. I have an iMac 2011. After a Yosemite update, I've been getting the white screen of death. I've tried every single uh, option I've seen online. Those things I've tried are holding down shift for safe boot. All I get is a white screen. I've held down shift with verbose mode by pressing command V and I get a bunch of you know text and then it looks it, there's like a bug and then it just kind of crashes out. I've given that information to Apple. They didn't really have any solution for me other than take it to an Apple dealer. Um, there it goes. It just goes to this white screen. It kind of turns off. If you hold down shift, the white screen comes back. And you get like a black arrow here. I've gone, I've held down command R on boot where it goes into a disk utility. I've run the, the disk repair and it says the hard drive works fine. I've repaired all the different partitions. Um, I've held down D for diagnostics and I just get a white screen on boot. I've done that command RP option, which resets the NVRAM that didn't do anything. And pretty much anything that's been online, I've tried it. The only thing I didn't do was the time machine restore, but I don't, I never backed up anything on time machine because everyone was saying that the Apple computers were indestructible, which time and time again, I found that that's not the case. So what I'm going to do now is I've downloaded Yosemite from the app store on my I my MacBook. Luckily I have another Mac Mac computer. If I didn't, I don't know what I would do. And it, cause I, I don't think anybody in my neighborhood has a Mac. So now I got to figure out how to make a Yosemite boot USB stick. Easier said than done. And uh, if that works, I'll post the results. As of now, I've had this white screen. I've, I spent the whole day try, trying everything. So that's that. You probably have the same problem if you're looking at this. If you're doing the whole Yosemite route, you've got to go to the App Store and the app store. Yeah, you go to the app store and you go to purchased items, which I already did this. And OS X Yosemite was there and I clicked download and then it re-downloaded and then it tries to reinstall. I canceled out of it from going up there and choosing quit. Yeah, so what I found is that I didn't record the steps that I did to make the boot image but I do remember opening a command prompt and typing in following I typed in it was I really I cut and pasted it was, uh, basically what you see up there applications install backslash OS backslash X backslash Yosemite dot app no interaction but I had to first format the USB stick and I, I can't, I, there's like a disk utility program. I basically followed instructions I found off the internet and I just did a step by step. First creating the flash disk and then pasting the line of code into a command prompt. I think something had to do with sudo, S-U-D-O. I think I had to type sudo at some point. Yeah, so it was like sudo applications install OS X Yosemite dot app forward slash contents forward slash resources create install media. So I think that's what I did to, to, to first like erase the flash drive and make it bootable. And then I copied Yosemite over to it. But copying Yosemite, I had to do it through like a command line thing because otherwise it would just copy it. I'm not sure. I really don't know what I did, but it worked. I followed instructions. Just do a regular Google search. 
follow the instructions to create the flash drive and then install it and it works. These screenshots you see here, these are just more verbose mode of um, when I hit, held down V, trying to boot, trying to figure out what was going on with the iMac. Anyway, I hope this video was somewhat useful. At least, uh, you know, the things I tried, I, I just had to wipe out my Mac and I started fresh. It's probably a good thing anyway. Don't worry, I didn't lose data. I saved everything on my NAS, so I didn't lose anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Technuba. Technuba.